Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today what we're going to do is reuse or recycle your old modem router as a range extender. So why are we doing this one? If you're not really wanting to purchase a new Wi-Fi router to extend your coverage or your range, you can also use your old modem router like this one. For me, this is a PLDT DSL modem router and I'll be using this one as a range extender and I'm going to show you on how to do that one and let's try to configure it right now okay and for the configuration first is you just need your DSL modem router or any modem router that you have and get a LAN cable which is connected to your home network for me this instance I'll be using my home network router which is that one that Asus Blue Cable router and I'll be connecting this DSL modem router on any of the LAN port so for this one let's just put it on the middle and now we're going to configure it using our web interface on my desktop okay guys and let's try to configure our PLDT modem router and first is we need to connect to it and let's try to see the SSID this is the SSID of that modem router which is PLDT home DSL 47032 and let's try to connect and the password for my uh, modem router is PLDT Wi-Fi 1.41096 Okay, uh, usually the password is located at the back of your modem router like for me, it's it's here, it's sprawling and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it's that auto-focusing but there you have it, we have already been connected to the Wi-Fi SSID and it says connected, but let's actually try to test it. Ping google.com if we really have an internet access. And there you go. It's not connecting to the internet, but it's just trying to. And there you have it. It mentioned that it has no internet access because we haven't configured our modem router yet. And to configure this one, uh, the let's try to check the gateway so we can know uh, what is the inter web interface for this modern router so status and there you go wireless network connection then just click the details and you'll be able to see the network connection details which is the default gateway is 192.168.1.1 which is usually the common web interface uh, for modern router or router as well is the gateway for this one is 192.168.1.1 and the password is admin1234 for the default username and password this is admin and password is 1234 guys uh, this is a login page for a common admin which we can do just a various things that not basically the things that we need to do to make it as a range extender so i'll just like to show it to you oh it's not working sorry it's admin in 1234 okay and there you have it and let's just enter a new password okay this is what i'm saying earlier that it doesn't uh, have any other configuration aside from status wlan and firewall and most of the things that we need to configure to make it as a range extender doesn't show here okay and i've tried to check the internet and look for uh web interface which we can use the PLDT administrator for my modern router and I found this site and I'll include, I'll include this one on the link below on my description page and just copy this one PLDT admin cell.htm and put it here 192.168.1.1 and paste okay and enter even though it has the same login page it have a different configuration that we can do like that. and password oh, it's not much sorry admin one two three four five six seven eight nine admin one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and there you have it so this is a different login page for PLDT admin. It will vary from your internet service provider modem. But for my modem router, 
there are two login page okay and this is the one that we need to configure so let's go to setup and LAN and DHCP and we just need to disable the DHCP server mode on this modern router and apply changes okay it has already been applied okay uh, just a background for the HCP server it is a feature that is actually the HCP server is actually the one giving your devices an internet IP or an IP address okay so if we have disabled the DHCP mode it should get your devices should get an IP address directly from your main router. Okay, and we have already disabled this one. Basically, this is just the thing that we need to disable. And for the LAN, you can just leave this as is, but you'll be having a hard time connecting or configuring it later on. If you want to change the SSID or the password, if you don't know the LAN interface setup or which is the web interface, IP address, you will be having a hard time reconfiguring your SSID. And for my mod main router, I believe uh, my DHCP range is 192.168. That, oh, sorry, 172.16.80.122.200. Sorry, I forget actually the, the uh, entire range that I have, but I'll be using. 172.16.80.233 as my IP address for the web interface of the modem router. So in case I need to change anything later on, I can just access this IP address. So I'll hit apply. And please click to continue configuration. Okay, while waiting for that one, I would just like to remind you that uh, each modem router have different configuration, but basically you just need to Disable the DHCP server and just set the web interface IP for your modem router. Okay, it's still uh, configuring. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. And let's try to check. Okay, uh, it's not able to access 172.16.80.233. We're still connected. Oh, we, have for, uh, we forgot to change the SSID. Okay. Okay, it's taking a while, but I think uh, it's already configured. So I'll just reset the modem router. I, I have waited for around uh, 10 to 20 seconds and I believe it's completed. We'll just restart the router itself. Just press the power button. And... Turn it on. Okay, and let's see here. Oh, it's uh, still connected. It's weird. Okay, it got disconnected, and the modern router is restart. Let's wait for it to connect, 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 connect. Refresh, and there you have it. We have here it's now connecting and connected. And it mentioned internet access. Let's try to check if it actually has internet access. Pinggoogle.com, and it has an internet access. And let's try to uh, browse web page like JK Chavez. Oh, it's, <laughs> I'm not sure what. Okay, we have an internet access and you can see I was able to access the internet. And let's try to check if the IP address for the web interface took effect. So 172.16.80.233 and uh, just copy this one, PLDT admin cell and put it here. Okay, and admin pldt and the password that we have set earlier one two three four five six seven nine and there you go we are able to access the internet and we are able to access the web interface 
and let's see if we can change the Wi-Fi SSID for the one that we want to. So, test modem for 2.4 gigahertz frequency, and this is just a single band modem router. So, test modem, apply changes. WLAN is restarting. I have not changed the SSID password. That's okay. I believe it will be the same as PLDT Wi-Fi 1.41096. Okay, and we have been disconnected. And let's try to... There, it, there you go. It's test modem. And connect. And the password will be the same because we haven't changed that one. PLDT Wi-Fi 1.41096. Okay, uh, let's just say this is a home network close and let's see if this is working. And there you have it guys. You are able to connect to the internet using your old modem router. Hi, this is Edu. And there you have it. You have seen it. It is working. We are able to recycle and use an old modem router and configure it as a range extender. Okay, and let's now go to the basic question that we will be receiving for this content. Okay, I believe first question is, why not buy a new Wi-Fi router which have a better capability like the Tenda EC23, the Asus, AC88U, 86U. There are a lot of Wi-Fi routers that are really capable of extending the range. But some of us are not really willing to purchase a new one, so uh, they will go for using an old modem router just to extend their range okay and second question is uh you have configured it using your main router and your new uh, your old modem router just side by side okay and the question will be uh, how far can i set it up away from my main router and place it on another location as long as you have a LAN cable that is not exceeding 100 meters it will work Okay, we just use less than 100 meters and it will work fine. Uh, you can place it on another house, on another part of the house, or anywhere but, but make it sure that you have a less than 100 meters of land cable. It's, it will still work. And I believe one of the question will also be, how about the other land ports? Can we still use those land ports uh, to connect a laptop or desktop? Yes, you can connect a laptop, desktop, smart TVs, or any appliance that require a land cable connection. So those devices will have an internet or a network connection as well. And it will work. And other question will be, I think some of you will just comment below on the questions that uh, you want to ask regarding using your old modem router as a range extender. And I'll be happy to answer all of them, but uh, it takes time for I'm doing a lot of things right now. But I promise I'll answer as much as I can. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and like button so we can create more content related to tech or most specifically with network technology. And thank you for watching guys and have a great day and stay safe. Bye!